Hey everybody, we're going to do a short tutorial and a little bit of the gameplay for the game Smash Up. Object of the game is to be the first player to score 15 victory points. The original set comes with 8 factions of 20 cards each and 16 base cards. First thing that you do is pick 2 factions to shuffle together. How about robots and wizards versus tricksters and dinosaurs. So you've got 3 bases there. The first player takes 5 cards looks at their hand and you can play both a minion card and an action card. You can play on any base and just read the bottom of the card. This action you can play an extra minion. We're going to start the game with Ice Castle where minions cannot be played here. Uh, also do the Jungle Oasis which doesn't have any rules on it and it's a smaller base. It's a little bit easier to get going. And we'll do the Rhodes Plaza Mall when this base scores each player gains one victory point for each minion that it has here. We've mixed up some factions already. I'm going to play what I think should be played, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so we've got the play an extra minion card, the hover bot, this minion, <laughs> the zap bot where you can play an extra minion power two or less, and the archmage you may play an extra action on each of your turns. You can play one minion and one action per turn. I think we're going to get the Archmage out here right away. Let's go on the Rhodes Plaza Mall because we want him out for a while. I'm going to play the action card where you get to play an extra minion. And let's do the Zap Bot. You get to play an extra minion of power two or less. I like to put them on top if the action's already been done. So we're going to play another uh, minion, power two or less. It says reveal the top card of your deck. If it's an action, you may place it in your hand or play it as an extra action. Otherwise, return it to the top of your deck. We're going to reveal the top card of our deck. It's a minion, so we cannot play it. So we know the Warbot's coming down the pipe. This action card goes in our discard pile, and it is our opponent's turn. For the Raptors and the Tricksters first hand, we've got two Augmentation cards, which is plus four power to the end of turn. We've got Survival of the Fittest, which is a pretty powerful one, destroying the lowest power minion on each base with a higher power minion. Another action card, each player discards two random cards. Um, Block the path and action, play on a base and name the faction. Ongoing minions of that faction cannot be played here. So that action looks good. We unfortunately have all five actions. I think we should do the block the path on the roads, plaza mall, name a faction, do, I don't know, robots cannot be played there. Since robots can play a bunch of extra minions. So remember to draw two at the end of your turn. And it looks like we got more actions. So this guy's in trouble. Back to the robots and the wizards. So we got the hover bot, we've got a scry, we've got the war bot, two minion, and a microbot guard. Hmm. Let's do the hover bot on the jungle oasis. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a minion, you may play it as an extra minion. Otherwise, return it to the top of your deck. And the top is another hover bot. So we get to play it there. That was a pretty good card. We can look at the top of our deck. It is another minion, so we can play it. Let's just put it there and try to get those two points. Let's draw another card. Nuke bot. And then our action is going to be the scry. Search the deck for an action and reveal it to all players. Place it in your hand and shuffle your deck. So I'm going to choose the winds of change. So that just goes into our hand. Uh, draw two and that turn is over. Scry goes in our discard pile. Now it's the dinos and the tricksters turn. We still have all actions, which is super unfortunate. Play each player discards two random cards. That's all that they can do. Draw two cards at the end of their turn. The wizards and robots have to draw two random cards. Shuffle so these up. You gotta get rid of the warbot and this uh, other two minions. Now it is the robots and wizards' turn. Well, we had some good luck with the hoverbot, so let's just do that. If we get another minion, we'll win that base. We did. So you can do that. And then you can play an extra action this turn, which we've been able to do with the Archmage, but we don't have too many actions. But I like it. Let's do the Winds of Change. Shuffle your hand into your deck and draw five cards. You may play an extra action. So we're shuffling, which is a good idea. Let's get some actions cards in our hand since we've got that Archmage still out there. Here's our new hand. We've got a Summon. Uh, we've got a Zap Bot. Chrono Mage, Tech Center, and a Microbot Fixer. Let's see if we can play another action, so might as well do... We've got a couple of nice action cards here. Let's do the Tech Center. We've already got a ton of minions out there, so we can draw one card for each of our minions here. Anyway, it looks like wizards are well on their way to destroying the other ones, unless uh, later in the deck the tricksters and dinos can get a little bit more power going on. Kind of gives you a, a head start on the gameplay, and let me know if you want to see anything different. Thanks for hanging out with me today. See you next time.